This video is about reacting metals with water. Now the general equation for reacting metals with water is metal plus water makes a metal hydroxide plus hydrogen. Hence, we've got this diagram depicting the squeaky pop test, which is the test for hydrogen. If you collect hydrogen and then place a lit splint over that hydrogen gas, if it makes a squeaky pop sound, that indicates that hydrogen is present. So we can react, for example, magnesium water, calcium and water and sodium and water to make a metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Now in this case the reactivity of the metals is quite important. This shows the reactivity series of metal starting from the most reactive potassium down to the least reactive platinum. Now some of these metals react with water and others don't. For example lower on the reactivity series we find metals such as copper this doesn't react with water and hence copper is the metal used for making water pipes a lot of the time because we wouldn't want something that reacts with the water whereas metals at the top of these reactivity series do react with water so for example we've got magnesium and water and just following the rule that will make a metal hydroxide. So we take the word for the metal magnesium and then hydroxide. And like all of these metal and water reactions, the gas hydrogen will be given off. Pause the video and complete the word of equations for the next two reactions. So you've got calcium on water, which will make calcium hydroxide plus hydrogen. And you've got sodium plus water, which would make sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen. Now, the higher up the reactivity series you go, and you can get some really quite spectacular reactions from metals with water. Lower down the reactivity series, things like magnesium will just show the hydrogen gas fizzing off as the reaction was happening.